Hi everybody. I'm in a little park at in southern Ontario. It's one of my favorite places to park. Sometimes um, they're on like little subsidiary highways. They have, you know, little picnic tables and, and garbage cans and it's just a, a little park. It's fall and I thought I would like to share with you some of the things that I do to get ready for winter. Um, Living in Canada, I live in all four seasons, so just like when you own a house, there are things that you need to do to get ready for fall. Um, the weather gets colder, uh, there are no bugs. <laughs> so, you know, it's you give some, you get some, even with mother nature. So I thought um, for those of you that want to do it or, or wonder how I keep warm and um, dry, in in the fall i thought i'd share some of that stuff with you so let's go on in and welcome to my humble abode um so some of the things that i do you know i basically live in an insulated tin can and basically insulated on three sides because the bottom has no no insulation and it's a metal floor um, just like you would have a house with a crawl space and no insulation under the floor the floor gets really cold and being metal um, just a regular piece of carpet or something won't do you have to have something that won't slide under your feet so let me show you down my purple shoes because it's still purple shoes weather way yay my purple bath mats Bath mats are perfect. They work really, really well. Um, when I leave my roof vent open and the bath mat gets wet, it's easily dried. They're easy to maintain and they're, easy, they're cheap to replace. Um, one thing that's really hard to keep out is the mud. You know, I like to go remotely and remotely usually means mud. So I have this little doormat. I don't know whether you can see it here. Let me turn on that light a little bit there you go so and and really all it is is a dollar store doormat really that's all it is so when it gets you know done I just pick it up throw it out go into the dollar store buy another doormat but it so saves the rest of the van from mud because you know when you own a house and in the country and you don't have a mud room you know that mud comes way past that doorway so Although it's just me going in and out, so I can make sure that I take my my shoes off every time. As you can see, because when I bent down and showed you my purple shoes, I did not take my shoes off. <laughs> so I do I do that, but it's still not muddy out. So so I'm I'm gonna say I'm good. Um, another thing that happens in the fall is it gets really damp. Uh, you know, you can feel that dampness in the air, and and it's. Um, Everything has covered in that too, and it's chilly. I hope he felt really a lot better for that. <laughs> it was noisy. Anyway, so what I learned a long time ago is a candle. If you light a candle and you leave it in the van, and it takes about 15, 20 minutes, and it clears up the dampness in the van immensely. Like, you really would be amazed at what one single candle can do. But, please remember, you are dealing with an open flame. Fire is not an option, right? You know, like, so you have to be diligent in what you're doing. Um, I, myself, I have my candle, and my candle has like a, a I don't know, yeah, you should be able to see it, a fire retardant paper on it. And I also put it, on my stove area and I'll get a pot out and I'll put the pot on the stove and I'll put the candle in the pot and I'll let the candle burn and like I said about 20 minutes the condensation and the dew and the dampness is gone uh, so being very vigilant with your fire because fire is not good a candle is awesome to get that dampness out you know because in the winter time when it gets really cold I'm running my house on a 12 volt battery you know nothing I thought finding places to sleep at night was going to be the important part that isn't it power it's all about power and what you can power with a 12 volt battery 
well, if my furnace comes on all the time because it's cold and damp in here, then I'm going to have to get up and I'm going to have to start the engine and charge the battery. That really is the only thing that I can do. So I try, really tried to avoid that because it's not good for the engine to be running. And in the middle of the night, I have been known to fall asleep with the engine running and a quarter tank of gas later, I wake up sweating because my furnace is running. And yeah, it's, it's not a good scene. So, um, that's another thing the candle really, really helps with is keeping that dampness out and keeping that and giving that just that little bit of warmth that that's all you need. I mean, I have like lots of, lots of blankets on my bed. Oh, by the way, I'm going to turn this light on so you can see. Um, I have to give kudos to my girlfriend, Diane. And because without her, those insulators that insulate the back windows would not have happened. I wouldn't have thought of that. She is a genius when it comes in to interior decorating. I'm telling you with the colors and everything. I pick the color. I tell her basically what I want. And yeah, domesticated I'm not, but I have really good friends that are. So that makes me a smart chipmunk <laughs> and a friendly one. <laughs> so I just want to give kudos to her because you know what? I mean, she is the, I get the idea and she makes it happen. So I also have, and I want to show you, I have a rod. So it's, all it is, is a, a pull out shower rod and it's jammed against the ends and I just pull a curtain across and it's amazing how much coolness that keeps out because you know, that's what you're, that's what you're fighting. These curtains, I love them, but the tracks are really old on them. So I don't want to use them a lot because I don't want to break them. I don't know where I would find the track to the tracks to, to do that. So it's just another thing for me to look for and I don't need to look for that. So I don't, but I have plenty of heavy blankets. Um, I like sleeping when it's a little bit cool. So, and like I said, my, my furnace runs on a thermostat. It comes on at w whatever temperature I set it at. So, and I have my blanket or my, my curtain and it's a blackout curtain. Um, to pull across the front and that keeps a lot of draft out. Another thing that I do is, is around the edges of the bed, I will take uh, blankets and roll them up and put them around because when it gets really cold in the winter time, um, you can feel that coolness, right? And in the summertime, I take them out and I store them yeah, because I'm a hot woman. So if it's hot in here, I want to feel that coolness on the side of the van. And that, at that point, that coolness is good for me. So um, just a few things. Oh, I want to show you. Wait a minute. Let me reach in here. Let me see if I can find one. Oh, one of these. So power, 12 volts. I run my house on 12 volts of power. I got these LED lights. And this is one of them. And as you can see, like, it's pretty bright. And it uses like 3.6 watts of power. It's made an immense difference. I mean, I had the old 1156 bulbs in there. And in the morning, in the winter time, when it's dark from the time I get up to the time I leave, I would have to start the engine because the lights of me getting up and getting ready for work would run the house battery down. So I would have to start the engine. I noticed with the with these lights, because there's been a few, quite a few, well, depending on my schedule, um, days where I would get up and it's still dark, that I didn't have to start that engine. So it saves me that little bit of power. And so, like I said, you know, I mean, when I first moved in here, my biggest thing was, where am I going to sleep? And really, that's not my biggest thing. My biggest thing is how am I going to make sure that I have enough power to do what I need to do? Now, when I upgrade, I'll have a generator. Oh, my world for a generator. <laughs> and I can make toast because, I mean, that's really what I equate it to. You know, people ask me, well, you know, um, you can power a heater. No, no, I can't, right? I can't even make toast. I can't. And, and that seems to 
ident people can identify with the with the source of power that I'm working with. Like I said, I got a 300 watt inverter attached to my 12 my 12 volt battery, but it will only run so much, and I will charge my my phones and my tablets and stuff off my car battery as much as I can. Um, but really getting ready for fall and winter is discovering what I can use to keep myself dry and warm without using a lot of power. So I hope you got a, a little bit out of that. Um, and I hope that maybe some of that stuff will make you a little bit more comfortable in the, in the weather that's coming. And um, please enjoy every moment of, you know, the freedom of living in a van. I do, no matter what season it is. So thanks for sticking around and I will talk to you later and have a wonderful Sunday evening and have a wonderful Monday.